Hello everyone. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about the interaction plot between any two factors in a factorial experiment. To show you the interaction plot, how to present this in the R studio, I've taken an example of an experiment which was conducted to compare the germination percentage of onion seeds. It had two factors treatments. The first factor was priming agent with three levels, gibberellins, PEG and NA that is the auxin and the second factor was concentration of these priming agents and it had also three levels 100 ppm, 200 ppm and 300 ppm. The experiment was replicated twice and was done in the laboratory condition. With this data we have to conduct the analysis of variance, compare the means of the factors and the interaction and visualize the interaction between the factor that is the interaction plots. So Without any further ado, let's go towards the data. I have kept the data like this, priming agent, concentration, replication and the germination. I have kept the parameter germination which was replicated twice and arranged this and I have saved this file as the CSP file, comma separated value files in this location as onion.csp. So let's go to the R studio. So here I have several quotes for the complete analysis of the factorial experiment. I will not go into the details about everything because I have already told about this in my previous video. For this uh, you will need to have three packages installed beforehand that is DAEWR, GVLMA and Agricoli package. So for that simply run these three quotes. I have already installed these packages so I will not install it. So next step is setting the working directory where your file is located, set the working directory. My file is located in the interaction among factors so I will set the directory. The next step is reading the file, read your uh, data into the data frame. So I have given the name of the data frame as ANUS. We can see in the global environment already the data is seen with the 18 observation of 4 variables. So run these three course also we can see in the console this data also. So next step is assigning the factors. This will assign my priming agent and the concentration these two variables as the factors. Next step checking the assumptions of the ANOVA. We will require the GVLMA package so call the GVLMA or download the package GVLMA by this function require run this then the linear model is set for the experiment where germination is our parameter and priming agent and the concentration are two factors that determines our germination that is the parameter. So the multiplication sign is given which represents the interaction or the factorial design of the experiment. So let's run this code and see the assumption of the ANOVA. So when we do the GVLMA test we can see our all assumptions are met so we can proceed towards the uh, analysis of variance we also can observe the box plot for the germination of the whole data which shows that our data is fit for the ANOVA so next step is doing the ANOVA or the analysis of variance Simp we will require library or the uh, package DAEWR so run this code and test for the ANOVA and summary test for ANOVA. Then the ANOVA table is produced in the console. There it can be seen that uh, analysis of variance produces a table of sum of e square of the different sources of the variance. Uh, it can be seen from the table that two factors and then interaction are significant as indicated by the p values that is here. We can also see the asterisk sign. It is highly significant their interaction. So from this we can conclude that there is significant interaction between the priming agent and the concentration used. Next we can simply run the code and see what it shows. It shows the mean germination, factor wise mean germination, uh, priming agent GA3, the mean germination by the GA3 is 66, NA is 75, PEG 75. Similarly second factor concentration at 100, 200 and 300, germination are 78, 75 and 64. Similarly, the priming agents and the concentration interaction is also given. 
and further uh, one more information that is the standard error for the difference of the means is also given um, beforehand here priming isn't the standard error for the difference of the means is 1.31 similar for the concentration it's 1.31 and their interaction it is 2.27 so this code the code of the line number 42 and 43 it gives the uh, factor wise in of the germination percentage so uh, next is doing the dunk contest for ranking the treatment means first load the agricoli package attach your data and run this code this code uh, compares the germination percentage based on the factor concentration we also can see in the console that 100 200 and 300 ppm these three concentration are ranked a b and c based on their comparison by the Duncan test and the numerical values here 9 and 5.2 these are actually the value of residual degree of freedom and residual mean sum of square from the ANOVA table produced in the console we can uh, put the value the residual degree of freedom is 9 and mean sum of square is 5.2 so 9 and 5.2 we have to uh, put the values according to your ANOVA table produced Similarly, if you want to compare the uh, priming agents, first factor, all you have to do is replace this concentration with the priming agent and run this code. You can see the in the console, the priming agents and A, P, G and G, A, 3 are also ranked. So based on this data, we can see N, A gave the highest germination percentage as compared to P, G and the G, A, 3 and it is ranked. So now next is interaction plot. The code for the interaction plot is uh, given here first let's run this code and then i will explain about the code when i run this code we can see the interaction plot of the concentration and the priming agent in the x-axis we can see the priming agents in the y-axis we can see the germination percentage that is our parameter and the second factor concentration is plotted in the graph so uh, what we wrote in the code is that with onus is the name of the data frame what we saw in the environment our data frame name so then this priming agent uh, it is the factor that is to be plotted in the x-axis similarly the concentration is the factor that is to be plotted in graph and germination is the parameter that is to be plotted in the y-axis similarly uh, other course keep it same the main is the this main is the title of the plot interaction of the plot of the concentration and the priming agent if i change the title the plot title will be changed to the interaction plot only so simply you can put your uh, plot title name here so uh, x lab is equals to priming agent it means the level that is to be shown in the x axis it is to be written here similarly y lab means the level that is to be shown in the y axis it should be written here so talking about this interaction plot in this plot we can see more clearly the dependence of the two factors when we change the priming agent from ga3 to na to pg the germination percentage increases linearly from 64 to 92 percent when the concentration is at its low level that is 100 which is uh, shown by the dotted lines with the blue diamonds we can see the germination percentage it is increasing when we change the priming agents towards PEG. Similarly, when the concentration is at its highest level, that is the 300 ppm, which is illustrated by the solid line with these squares. This line. So, changing the priming agent from GA3 to NA to PEG, the germination percentage decreases nearly in the linear trend. Uh, similarly, when the concentration is held constant at the mid level that is 200 ppm which is shown by the uh, dotted line or the dashed line with the triangles the ch changing the priming agent from GA3 to NA it causes increase in the germination percent whereas if we use the PEG it causes decrease in the germination percentage. So with this plot we can see the effect of one factor across the levels of the other factor that is the interaction between the two factor. So, it can also be uh, done in the opposite way that is if we run this next code I have replaced some values we can see concentration in the x-axis and the priming agent is plotted 
the graph and the germination is our parameter is as usual so that's the end of the video the interaction plot how to see the interaction between the two factors and using the interaction plot in the r studio if you find this video informative don't forget to subscribe this channel and feel free to share this video among your friends thank you